The overall goal of this method is to monitor pathological changes of experimental cerebral malaria in vivo. This method can help to answer key questions in the pathogenesis of experimental cerebral malaria as it allows us to visualize in vivo how pathology of the whole brain evolves in space and over time. The technique thereby allows a detailed assessment of brain pathology and can be used to assess the efficacy of novel treatment strategies in cerebral malaria. Performing the MRI setup will be Manuel Fischer, our lab manager. Begin by collecting female mosquitoes from their cage 17 to 22 days after the blood meal. Use forceps to place three to four mosquitoes on a glass slide covered with a drop of cold RPMI medium. Then, place the slide under a microscope. Carefully stretch the mosquito between the head and body with forceps and use a syringe and needle to isolate the salivary gland. Next, collect the salivary glands from the glass slide by sucking them up with a glass pipette and transferring them into a 1.5 milliliter centrifuge tube. Then, use a small plastic stick to smash the isolated salivary glands within the centrifuge tube for three minutes in order to isolate the sporozoites from the salivary gland tissue. Centrifuge for three minutes at 1000 times G and four degrees Celsius to purify the sporozoites from the remaining tissue. Pipette the super